<laughs> Goober! You boghouse rat! What are you up to? Oh, hello, sir. I'm, uh, I'm doing nothing. As per usual, you really are the most useless butler. You know, I had to make my own tea again. I think this milk's off, by the way. It was fresh this morning when it came out the dog. <laughs> Disgusting. Now, what are you doing on my computer? If you've been looking at nudie pixie sites again, I'm going to report you. What's this? Fiends reunited. Oh, isn't that the site where mythical creatures like gremlins, banshees and werewolves can contact their old school chums? Let's see what you've put. Hi, Goober here. I've done really well for myself, colon, bracket. I'm a successful artist, poet, actor and athlete. I drive a flash car, have loads of birds and I'm dead rich and stuff. All right, I admit it. I have built myself up a bit. Built yourself up a bit? The only accurate word that describes you in there is colon. Why not just be honest and say, hello, I'm Goober, I'm a loser and I stink. They'll never know the truth. Anyway, it's not like I'm going to meet him ever again, is it? Right, I'm going to start lunch. Benny Button fluff pile, right? Let's see what else he's put. I've had a few jobs I didn't like too. I worked for that complete idiot, King Stupid, the bedwetting, monkey-brained half-wit what he is. That is it, man. He's going to get well mashed up now. I swear I'm going to give him licks upside his head. Wait. I've got a better idea. I'll organise a reunion here in the castle. That way they can see what an utter failure and liar he really is. The embarrassment will completely destroy him! Unlike my next victim, who seems to rather enjoy it. Any change? No, I spent it on chips at break. Is it a good example of students seeing their teachers begging in class? No, I meant any change in the solution. No, so far the liquid has remained in its... Oh no! I've got some on me! Oh, it's just... But there's really nothing to worry about. It's, it's just... burning! Ah! Every fibre of my body is ablaze! Ah! I'm changing! Karen, ah! stop it! It's only tea, Karen. I know, it all wash out. Ah! Matty, can you pay attention for more than one nanosecond, please? Mom? You're sending me to the shop, not to the moon. How difficult can it be? Matty, yesterday I asked you to pass me the salt and you handed me the dog. You have the attention span of a goldfish. Now listen, I need milk, biscuits, sponge cake and coffee. Did you get that? What? What are you looking at? Has that light switch always been there? Oh, give me strength! Matty, this is important! This is my church's coffee morning and they'll be here within an hour and I've got nothing to offer them! Look, I'll write you a list. <sighs> Do I need, um... Right, milk, biscuits, sponge cake, coffee. Right. Matty, you're going to the shop, remember? Milk, biscuits, sponge cake, coffee. Be quick, they'll be here soon. Have faith in me for once, Mother. <sighs> nice beans, Rita. Very unusual. It certainly makes a change for milk, biscuits, sponge cake and coffee. Anyone need a top-up? Good, so you can come then. Y yes, Goober's really looking forward to it. Okay, bye bye. He is gonna be well stitched up. A little bit like my next stupid target. Hello, and welcome to Makeover Mandy with me, Mandy Kelly. Two types of makeover today. Fashion, that's clothes and makeup, and garden, that's the green bit out the back of your house. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to transform this plain looking sycamore tree to this. 
What a difference, hey? A nice low-cut skirt, nothing too tarty, but enough to complement the shoes. The top is very light and airy, and a shawl can be added if the weather gets too chilly for your tree. The bag, well, I picked that up in a market, and I've added the little trim, which I think really sets it off. It's a plasma ball. It's a harmless piece of kit. It doesn't hurt you. Good, did it? Can I take this home? Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd just like some advice on your cars. Sure. Tell me what sort of thing you are after. Well, something small, mm -hmm. uh, power steering. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I quite like something in silver. Green. Green, I can help you with silver. Ah, ah, no. Okay, green it is then. Hey, come this way. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think? That's a space hopper. Uh -huh. Isn't she a dream? <laughs> Look, she's green <laughs> with power steering, built in airbag. Do you want to take off for a test drive? No, I think I'll go to another car showroom where the salesman isn't such a muppet. Hey, come on now. Please! I need some sales, or they're going to fire me! Hey! Time waster! You've done what? You've done what? I can't believe even you could do something so stupid! Oh, you can thank me later. For now, you better run along and start preparing some grub for this school reunion of yours. They'll be here in a couple of hours. You clot! You moron! You, you, you! Bed-wetting, monkey-brained half-wit! All oh, right, yeah, soz about that. But this is a very evil trick indeed, even for you. Yes, I am rather pleased with myself. All my old school chums are very successful with their own businesses. One exports troll down to Fairyland, one's the mayor of Gremlin City. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Mm, you better start getting good at art and poetry and some of the other things you'd claim to be so brilliant at. Otherwise, you might end up looking like, I don't know, a rubbish butler. Ah! Oh, so many lives to ruin, so little time. If you've just joined us, we're on the move. In fact, we're in a jam, a traffic sandwich served by Mum. I thought it was a shortcut. We're going to be stuck here for ages now. Anyway, let's get back to our main story. Danny, our roving reporter, is dying for a wee. Danny, can you hear me? I can hear you, Emma, but the line is poor. As I was jostled into the car, not when I'll go by Dad, I asked him, pleaded with him to let me go to the toilet. His response was this. Danny, that's your voice. I just heard you record it. I asked you if you've been and you said yes. I'm not stopping now. Mum, is there anything you'd like to add at this point? If you really want, Danny, you can get out and go in front of all these people. Our captors will not be negotiated with. They threaten me with cruel and unusual punishment. Just where we are heading is unclear. It's the caravan holiday park in Devon we go to every year. These poor caravans are hired out at exorbitant rates. The caravans, however, see none of this money. Mum, Dad, this exploitation of innocent caravans has to stop. Do you not agree? Fair enough. As soon as I get out of this traffic, we'll turn around and go back. You can forget about the holiday. No! No, we're sorry! Please don't stop my lovely, lovely holiday. No more stupid news reporting? Absolutely not. Good. We interrupt this program with a news flash. Danny's peed himself. Danny! We'll show your father, Sarah. Females too die for DIY. <laughs> exactly, Mum. If he won't fix the sink, then we will, right? Exactly. Oh, there, that's got it. I just quickly need to turn it up. Pass me the spanner thingy. This here. Quick! You want it? <laughs> yes! Come have it! Hurry! 
Breaking and entering badges today. Oh, yes. This is that bloke's house, isn't it? The one who lives with your ex-wife. Don't say bloke, Nigel. The term is fancy man. Lousy, rotten, wife-stealing fancy man. Right, what we're going to do now is hide all this stuff from my bedsit, then ring the police and tell them I've been burgled by a... a what, Barry? A fancy man. Exactly. Tom, I think someone's coming. Right, let's start in here, girls. And remember, if you find something that won't break, use that to break other things. That's an old Forrester motto. Who are you? What are you doing in the fancy man's house? I'm Brown Otter, and these are the Ipstead Town Foresters. Hang on. The fancy man is your ex-husband. Oh. oh. Yes, the girls were about to try for their wanton destruction badges. Oh, Tom, is there an equivalent for the Want and Destruction badge? I don't know, um... um yes, I believe there's the, uh, Smash and Trash badge, Tom. Of course. Shall we team up with these fine foresters and go for the Trash and Smash badges? Yay! Yay! Ah! Yay! I've been stupidizing for thousands of years, you know. From the very first fire-eating Neanderthals to economy burgers and boy bands. It's all down to me. Ah, how's it going, Vincent van Guffbreath? I think I'm getting better. What do you think of my painting? Hanging's too good for him, Goob. These are the sort of pictures you put on fridges using novelty magnets. You're right. I'm rubbish. Hey, you can paint. Can't you knock off a couple of masterpieces and I'll sign them? That is a brilliant idea. I'll get cracking right away. Whoopee! Oh, no, sorry. Hang on. I was completely forgetting. I want to see you squirm in front of your old school chums, who incidentally will be here right after this masterpiece of mass stupidity. What? Maybe that's just long enough for me to become the world's greatest poet. Mm, got one. There was a young goblin called Bubbles, whose wife had unusual... <laughs> of adding jewellery to a garden is that hedges don't have ears and so you're not restricted to just the two earrings. I've put 62 on this one and a tummy stud. And as the garden makeover continues we find Andre and Andrea hard at work. How's it going guys? Well, basically, Mandy, I'm applying a vibrant purple nail varnish to the thorns on these roses. It's having the effect of saying, I am a sassy rosebush. I've got a lot going for me. I'm in your face, but I'm free tomorrow night. Know what I mean? And not too tarty. Definitely not. Andre, how's it going for you? Well, Mandy darling, this rose was very much in last season's colours. So, I've put foundation on the petals and a nice little glitter effect. And I'm also putting eyeliner on the stems just to make them really stand out too. It smells lovely. That's incompetence by Rocco Vivaldi. I thought the whole rose scent thing was so passé. Know what I mean? And a bit too tarty, mm. too. Oi! What's going on? Ugh. Those were my best roses. Okay, looking good. Got to work fast, though. Could you pass me another tractor, please? You want it? Yes, please. Can't have it. What do you think you're doing? This is a very serious operation. Give that to me now. 
I'm so sorry, Doctor. I don't know why I did that. So was this the one you wanted? Yes, please. Can't have it! Want it! Can't have it! Want it! Can't Just have it! Just give that to me. What, this? Or did you mean this? Or this? No, the retractor, before it's too late. I really am very sorry. Ah, nearly, but not quick enough! I'm fired, aren't I? Joe! Son! <laughs> Your mother and I have been thinking a lot about how you feel you have to escape all the time, and we thought a hobby might take your mind off of it. We thought camping? It'll feel like you've just escaped. <laughs> so, we bought you this. Go on, open it up. A tent! Great! It's only small, so you could try putting it up in your bedroom if you like. Oh, we could ring Steve's mum and ask if he could stay the night. Brilliant! Camping out indoors! What a laugh! Come on, Steve, let's put it up now. Yeah. You know, I think we finally got through to him. Your parents are great, aren't they, Joe? Yeah! It'll be great camping out in my bedroom. Pass me the scissors. Let's get to work. Stop it, you're ruining it. We're making a glider. It's our only way out of here. We're going to fly right over the garden wall. Oh, no, not again, Jill. Why do you have to escape all the time? It's our duty to escape. I'm going on. Steve, can you give me a hand? I think I might have been a bit stupid. I must focus, Gooba son. Ah, hello there. Gooby has just remembered he told his chums at Fiends Reunited that he was a karate expert. Call me Jackie Chan. Call me Crouching Gremlin, Hidden Hamster. Call me uh, an ambulance. No oh. time, I'm afraid, Goobs. Looks like your chums are here. You better go and show them in so they can show you up. <laughs> Come on, you big crybaby. It didn't hurt that much. I'm not crying because of that. I'm crying because I never amounted to anything, because I never even tried. They all used to say that about me at school, and they were right. What? Your school chums were nasty to you. That's horrible. And now they're going to do it all over again. I'll get the door. Wait. You stay here and rest your hand. I will let them in. Here, cheer yourself up first. Now just pop your signature there, and I'll show you to your new car, eh? <laughs> That's it, Mike. Play it cool, and you have your first sale. No stupid space hoppers. You have sold a car, and they cannot fire you if you sell cars for them. There we are. Now, car. I'm very excited. Is there any petrol in it? Eh, hey, you have a point. I'll check. No, 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 no. You have to put some in, I'm afraid. What is that? Your new car. You like it? I got one of these. They are so reliable. We can have a race if you like. <laughs> Come on, the first one to the other end, eh? <laughs> hey! Come on now, please. I need some sense. Or they're going to fire me. Time waster. Mm -hmm. Beep beep. Devil finger. Curse you, devil finger. Because of you, I shall remain ever alone. From hell's dark heart, I stab at you, devil finger. Die! 
die. Bendy Wendy! Oh, that hurts. Why are you doing that? Sorry, I can't control my finger. Every time I see an outstretched finger, I have to... Bendy Wendy! Be Bendy Wendy? Bendy Wendy? Different finger. Oh, Bendy Wendy. Different finger. Bendy Wendy. Devil finger. Hi, we're still in the garden working on that makeover. And I can tell you, this garden looks 20 years younger and a lot less tarty. Andre here is in the middle of styling the conifers. <laughs> Andre, how's that all going? Well, Mandy baby, I really wanted to get away from the traditional bouffant look that colifers are always stuck with. Mmm, and it's a bit tarty too now, that mm. look, isn't it? So, I've washed and conditioned this one, as it was very brittle and had a lot of split ends. I'm also cutting into it and adding some strident blonde streaks, uh, just to really set it off. It's a little bit ooh, a little bit ah. <laughs> wow! Andrea, what have you done to that rhododendron bush? It looks amazing! Very punky and not too tarty. That's what I was going for. Rhododendron punk is very much in at the moment. Basically, I spray painted it black, added a dog collar and some safety pins. This rhododendron now says, Yeah, I'm a rhododendron, but what you gonna do about it? I love it. <laughs> Oi, I'm a trained garden stylist. Let go of me. No, her. She's the ringleader. She ruined my tree. The shoes and skirt just didn't match. Make over Mandy. At least she made something of herself. <gasps> Your Majesty, your guests. Bye, Goober. You've done well for yourself, lad. A blooming castle and a butler. Have I? <clears throat> oh, y y yes, I have. I take it back what I said about your man. Uh, gentlemen, if you'd like to make your way through into the dining hall where the finest gremlin food will be served, <clears throat> we're having witch steak in an angel snot sauce. Please feel free to throw up into the wheelie bins provided between courses. But, sire, why are you doing this for me? Nah, what are fiends for, eh? Your Majesty! Make sure the slug wine is chilled, stupid, or you'll be fired. Ow! I'm still king round here, you know. This is my manor and I run tings. You know, being that colour, you look a lot like a bruise. Well, that's the end of it. It's been wonderfully stupid. You've been very stupid at home, so well done you. We've been as stupid as we possibly can. We're going to miss you. We really are. We've had a stupidly marvellous time. Leave me now.